All right, so who's our next speaker? Can you guys guess who is our next speaker? If you are heard about USMLE, I'm sure that you have heard his name. Can you guess who it is? Well, I mean, I've looked at the agenda and I already know who that is, but this is one of the biggest educators in, in for USMLE. For anything internal medicine, this is the guy. Please, guys, welcome Dr. Cara Fisher. <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. Dr. Fisher. Which, which one? The other one. Oh my God, what a great day to be alive, isn't it? What a great day to celebrate coming to America. I'm just thanking Dr. Pinsky because if Dr. Pinsky had not agreed to be here and Sebastian says, you know Dr. Pinsky, he's coming to this event. <laughs> I go, well, I'll come too. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing to be surrounded by beautiful, curious, laughing, breathing flesh, to pass amongst them, to touch anyone, to rest our arms ever so lightly upon his or her shoulder, to be surrounded by a sea of humanity. I do not ask any more delight. I swim in it as in the sea. There is something in staying close to men and women and in the contact and odor of them that pleases the soul. But to be with all of you here today in this event is something that should please our souls. It should please our souls because it is a great thing in this lifetime, very powerful, to say, I know what my calling is in this world and then I can meet other sincere men and women to join together to say, how can we join together to do good in this lifetime? That's what we're here. Now, some people might look at parts of the world, as I do, Ukraine, Somalia, Ethiopia, Yemen, and say, look at all that pain. If there's a compassionate divinity, why is there so much suffering on the earth? And the answer is this, divine and cosmic forces of goodness, peace, truth, beauty, and love come to the earth continuously, but they only come to the range of the human heart and mind, us. And we are the active element, the instrument of action for divine forces in this world. And when you get nervous about, am I gonna match? And you get nervous, how to do it in step two. And you get nervous. My sister is a doctor, she's already married and has children, and my mother is saying, what's wrong with you? You're going to be an old maid. <laughs> and when you get nervous and anxious about your visas, you go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning is remembering that I am doing good for the world and as a byproduct, I will get what I need for myself. And that's why this struggle that you are engaged in is worth it. A lot of people wake up every day and struggle for things that don't make the world a better place. But you are struggling to make the world a better place. One out of every six people in the country has major depression at some time in their life. And they suffer. They suffer. And you're suffering, because most of you haven't matched yet, so you're suffering. But the difference between that sort of suffering and your suffering is your suffering is going to make yourself better. It's going to make the world better. You're going to be more beautiful, more good, more truthful, and more knowledgeable. Isn't a cooked potato better than a raw potato? Rumi Moledi. Evnana tells the story of what it's like to be getting cooked as a chickpea. He says, the chickpea doesn't like it, it's hot in there. And then the cook says, don't you want to get back in there and get cooked and flavored and spiced and become part of the soul of a beautiful human being? And that's what it is. You're being cooked for a dinner served by divinity. 
for people in a restaurant known as humanity. And that's what you're doing. So if you want to know what I think of when I'm filming Step 3 videos till midnight last night, I'm thinking of all of you right now. So I will see some of you on interview. See you on Zoom. Some of you may in the residency. Okay? And I wish you so well. It is so beautiful to be surrounded by all of you here today. I can have nothing but the most profound sense of gratitude to be with my people. This humanity. This humanity. And even the atheists believe in goodness and humanity. It's worth it. The other people are suffering, the general population, but it's not bringing them anywhere. So here's my final word to you. Suffer more. Suffer more. You understand? And also, when you finish all this, you all can form a class action lawsuit to demand why it is the National Board of Medical Examiners gouges you for charging you 50% more than they charge U.S. graduates. What kind of bakwas is that? Bullshit. It's bullshit. How are you charging us? Where is the diversity, equity, and inclusion in charging international graduates 50% more? You preach diversity, equity, and inclusion, then you steal it from me! Thank you so much. Stay angry. Thank you so much, Dr. Conrad Fisher. All right. I don't know if you guys know a fun fact about him. He's also a reverend. He is preaching. <laughs>